With the 2010 World Cup officially in the history books, and two official FIFA entries from EA having been released over the past 12 months, players around the globe have certainly had their fill of football. But while FIFA 10 innovated with its gameplay and immersion, World Cup South Africa refined the experience and put the legendary event in players' hands. Now with enhanced player personalities, a new goalkeeping mode, and unparalleled customization at its core, FIFA 11 looks to raise the bar yet again. FIFA will get to this one. Building upon the foundation of modes and customization options found in FIFA 10, this year's installment goes to great lengths to immerse you in EA's so-called football world. One of the big additions is Personality Plus, a system meant to make each virtual athlete feel more authentic and unique. Behind the scenes, a robust database taps into 36 attributes and 57 traits compiled by top-tier soccer scouts to inject a new level of realism into the series. The system works well, helping the sport's brightest stars stand out from the crowd while giving more casual fans an excuse to go gaga for kaka or loony for rooney. Trying to keep the ball here, but they haven't been able to do so. Goalkeepers have also been infused with Personality Plus, making some much more aggressive than others and placing an emphasis on learning their tendencies as a tactical advantage. Even if you don't recognize all of the players enough to appreciate what it brings to the table, the overall play on the pitch feels more balanced and authentic as a result of it. And that, on its own, is a huge plus. Waste any time, purposeful passing here. Goalkeepers are often some of the most important players in the sport, and this year, you'll have the chance to take on the daunting yet rewarding responsibility of minding the net through various game modes. A rather simplistic control scheme combines with multiple on-screen indicators to make goalkeeping in FIFA 11 more of a mind game than anything else. It keeps the option from being boring and one-dimensional. That's a waste of some good possession. No matter which player type you choose, or even if you want to be a player, coach, or manager, FIFA 11's career mode is back and will certainly keep you busy. The mode has been refined from years past and now delivers faster feedback to complement the streamlined calendar, tournaments, and new team management tools. You can't continue your career from FIFA 10, though, and the mode's rather slow rate of character progression means you'd better be ready for the long haul. The Be A Pro mode adds goalkeeping to the mix, along with a new host of challenges, while, as the name suggests, the new cross-platform creation center allows you to head online to create and share user-generated players and teams, complete with custom jerseys, shorts, footwear, crests, and more. Toss in tournaments, the ability to alter player attributes, live season and lounge modes, along with online play complete with 11 on 11 action, and it all adds up to the most immersive and complete FIFA experience yet. For all of the tweaks and refinements to FIFA's framework this year, none impact the overall experience like the adjustments made to the gameplay itself. The new pro passing system allows for modified crosses and swerve passes, making the outcome dictated more by player skill than AI. Find the sweet spot and you're rewarded with precision ball movement that can break down the best of defensive sets and result in clean shots on goal. The only downside here is the occasional misinterpretation of your passes that will see the ball go to players you didn't intend. Also, the teammate AI hasn't been ratcheted up to account for all the variables in passing, resulting in an occasional misread that will stop a promising play cold. Despite these minor annoyances, huge improvements to the jostling and collisions involving multiple players add substantial liveliness to the game. Players react by trapping, heading, and otherwise realistically interacting with the ball, which, when combined with the impact of Personality Plus and Pro Passing, deliver the most authentic FIFA game yet. Goalkeeping has traditionally been difficult in video games, and here, you'll have to be a hardcore fan of netminding for it to maintain your interest. You have the choice of following the ball, but otherwise, you basically sit there with very little to do. Making huge saves is certainly rewarding, but playing goalie is a test of patience. Overall, it's a more methodical game of soccer. Fans hoping for pinball-like passes and high-scoring affairs should look elsewhere, as FIFA 11's approach leans toward the realistic. Much like the latest iteration of EA's NHL series, the detailed physics and emphasis on timing result in a playstyle that rewards the skilled and attentive while punishing the undisciplined. Keeps it going well. One of the bigger complaints about last year's FIFA 10 was its overall presentation. It wasn't bad, but when compared to other EA Sports games, it certainly fell flat in the areas that mattered most. 
With significant strides already made in the Summer's World Cup game, FIFA 11 offers up enough improvements to bring it out of the doghouse. It begins with slick menus, but once the game starts, you'll notice improved lighting models and greater character detail to complement the more vibrant textures on the pitch. Custom celebrations also add to the atmosphere and provide a personal touch on the experience. The sound has seen some TLC as well, with vastly improved crowd chants and custom audio options. Martin Tyler and Andy Gray return with solid performances, but it's nothing that's going to change anyone's opinion. Um, Andy Gray and myself, Martin Tyler, it's a very good buy. The crowd visuals are still in the weeds, though, and along with some poor player models and the occasional awkward animation, it serves to keep FIFA's presentation just short of fantastic. Certainly a foul, is it going to be a second yellow? If you've played either of the past two entries in EA's FIFA franchise, then you'll likely appreciate the improved gameplay, robust customization options, and emphasis on realism that helps set the series apart. FIFA 11 doesn't deliver anything truly revolutionary, but it does improve on nearly every aspect of an already stellar game. It'd be nice to see something truly revolutionary for the franchise in next year's installment, but considering that FIFA 11 is the most polished, refined entry in the series to date, it's hard not to recommend it, even to the most discerning of football fans. He's in here.